and measuring 6.6, .6, although it was earlier reported at 7.1. It comes a month since the original earthquake and tsunami. The operators of the Fukushima nuclear plant have said there are no irregularities there, although earlier they expanded the exclusion zone from 20 to 30 kilometres to communities more than uh, that distance from the stricken plant. Well, the chief cabinet secretary, Yukio Odano, made the announcement shortly after the country had held a moment's silence to mark one month since the earthquake and tsunami hit the northeast of the country. He said it wasn't an emergency and residents had a month to get out of the area. Well, for all the latest, let's cross live now to our correspondent Rachel Harvey, who is in the capital, Tokyo. And I gather that this latest um, aftershock was actually felt there in the capital. It was pretty strongly, just as the aftershock last Thursday was felt here as well. The, the centre of this, this latest aftershock was just south of Fukushima, so slightly closer to us than last Thursday's aftershock, but it did seem to go on for some considerable time. It did allow the authorities to force the authorities to issue a tsunami alert, but that alert has now been lifted. We also heard earlier that there was some power that had been knocked out to the nuclear facility at Fukushima, which you will know has, is the same facility that has been damaged in the earlier earthquake and tsunami. But this time around, the officials who operate that plant, TEPCO, were quick to come out and try and inform the public about exactly what was going on there. For units one, two, four, workers working in those um, units, we have issued a temporary evacuation order to such workers. As for units one, two, three, the water injection into the reactor system, we have cameras that are monitoring the uh, water injection systems, but the camera is not operational, so we are not um, having real-time uh, monitoring on those uh, water injection systems. Once the uh, temporary evacuation order for the workers is lifted, we will send people there to check. As for Fukushima Daini, Units 1 to 4, the um, off-site grid power supply is operational, and the operational parameters that are seen in the main control room remain within the normal range, and so are the readings of the monitoring pods. TEPCO uh, stop there. Um, Rachel, I hope you can hear me, but the, we had heard earlier that people were going to be uh, evacuated a little bit further out from that plant in any case. That's right. In an earlier announcement, the government said that they were reviewing the data that they have about radiation levels around the nuclear plant, and they've identified five communities where those radiation levels are elevated and where, in their words, there could be, they're not definite, but there could be a potential threat long term to human health. Therefore, they are now saying that over the next month they want to evacuate people from those areas. So in addition to the 20 kilometer exclusion zone around that Fukushima plant, there are now these five specific areas that they are saying to people, it's time now for you to go. Okay, Rachel Harvey there in Tokyo. Thanks very much indeed for that.